just click on the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to know when I'm online. Happy watching! beautiful people thank you so much for watching my channel i am fatma am khan and welcome back to fatty stan so today this is an another hashtag khan ka khana video and i am in bengaluru i'm at savory which is an arabian speciality multi cuisine restaurant located at kamanna halli bangalore i think i pronounced it right talking about savory it is first established in 2002 with its first outlet in fraser road bangalore and this restaurant is the favorite choice of all arabs visiting bangalore having said that let's get started and this is the ground floor of this restaurant see the interior is uh, very artistic you'll feel like you are in arab with all those glass arts over there and the decor and everything so here to give that arab wali feeling you have that uh, tiny table and seatings on the floor and the other side you have that sofas and the table we took our seats and uh, on the menu card i was keeping my lamb and calf in the place so in this starter i have ordered a russian salad and my family was looking at me like seriously and yes so so this is a russian salad costed for 150 rupees and um it has all those mayonnaise or veggies pineapple and it tasted really good to me so the next starter we had was afghani barbecue half um which costed for 250 rupees with kubus uh, which costed for 15 rupees so yeah it was good it was like um the barbecue thing in afghanistan so the next starter is my all-time favorite and it was so 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 yum with all those tandoori masala the flavor the juiciness i mean it, it was so succulent it's 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 the best thing i had and this tandoor murg half costed for 200 rupees if they would have asked for anything i would have given that for this it was so yum and in the main course my brother ordered peja fry <laughs> which is a brain pepper roast which costed for 270 rupees and it tasted like egg burji like you know it was the first time i was tasting it and it exactly tasted like meat with egg with lots of pepper on it which is a roasted one so 
it was good surprisingly so the next thing i have ordered was mutton keema pulao which was really good it has that all those pulao flavors with the saffron and all those arabian flavors not so much masala but simple with meat and spices are up to the mark and it was really good it costed for 250 rupees then we ordered chicken tikka masala which costed for 230 rupees and it was like indian chicken tikka masala no fusion with any arab flavors so it was the authentic chicken tikka masala then we ordered mutton dum biryani which costed for 220 rupees but wait how many of you are biryani lovers this doesn't look like a biryani right okay so here is a twist so this is an arab style biryani when we had this we felt like it's a pulao and the pieces are like hidden inside this rice so you have to look for the pieces so if you have tasted many biryanis and you if you are expecting the masala flavored biryani this is not the one this is a different kind of biryani which has the arab fusion in it so yeah then we ordered a mandi lehem half which costed for 530 rupees so it has big chunks of pieces and the green chilies you can see and the khajur the date so it is also like arab style with lots and lots and lots of ghee which is clarified butter saffron and the akhni kind of thing so it tasted like that and yeah it the side dishes had the veggies and the curd and the tomato puree i don't know why it was there but yeah this is how mandi was and this is how my plate looks like so the service was super fast i mean uh, before you finish the starter you get the main course and before you finish the main course the next item they are like a uh, very fast so we said hey, wait hold on okay let us finish this and then we'll order dessert sorry brother but many people were asking about you uh, on my channel so i had only this photo of you so for all your fans let them cheer up So in the dessert I have ordered gulab jamun topped with the vanilla um ice cream one scoop so gulab jamun costed 60 rupees and vanilla one scoop costed 30 rupees so collectively it costed for 90 rupees so the last but not the least before we order seven up or lime soda or virgin mojito we ordered this sizzling brownies so all the nuts were on my side luckily and my brother didn't get that so it was as usual yum one costed for 220 rupees so khalas so uh, if you compare the food from chennai and bangalore i think the food in bangalore is quite less expensive or cheaper when compared to chennai and if you like this video make sure you give it a big fat thumbs up do not forget to subscribe to my channel hit the bell icon and please share this video All right so until next video this is Fatma I'm Khan signing off take care bye bye and salam